Hey everybody and welcome. In today's episode I want to talk to you about two topics around hotel bookings. One is about um, uh, lack of av availability due to the fact when we make a request uh, we are told by the hotels that actually the, uh, there's no availability and the other is um, that uh, very often hotels give us a certain rate and then later on they are dropping their rates. So these are the two topics. Um, first of all about the blocked uh, rooms. So very often what happens is as I said before we contact the hotel and say for let's say for 15 of June um, we have uh, we need 30 rooms and we are just told that well you know there is no availability, but very often what's happening is that somebody else um, blocked the rooms but did not put a deposit on it um, and then later on suddenly the rooms would be again available. But very often by the sales assistant, sales director, sales manager we are just told well there is no availability. So. You know, what is important, obviously, uh, from our side, uh, or when we are a tour operator, a travel agency, um, what is important that there's one basic question that we have to, to make, and uh, is basically okay to say, okay, or ask, is, are those rooms really already completely booked, you know, done deal, or um, is there any deadline for an option and you know later on in one month's time could those rooms be available again, again or not and so you know on one side obviously it's let's say the job of a tour operator to make this question but I think also the hotels if they are smart and you know and uh, at least you know if there is not a firm booking at least to tell to the customer, listen, at the moment we still have an option and the deadline is a certain date. So, you know, everybody, in the end, everybody wins with that. We have to be more open, we have to be more flexible, we have to be more transparent, at least to a certain extent. So, you know, if, if I know, for example, if there is, a, there is an option until, first, let's say, 1st of April, um, so I know that 1st of April I can go back to the hotel and ask, okay, is there availability again or you know the hotel may contact me and all this is very is, is very important most of the time unfortunately we just get the re, uh, response and very often it's from the reception or the re reservation department is basically no no availability okay and and the second subject is and and taking um, you know, let's talk about again once more about the Euro 2020. What very often happens is the hotel give us a certain rate, uh, you know, a five star above 400 euros, a four star above 300 euros, a three star above 200 euros. And we tell them, listen, those rates are far too high. It will be very difficult for us to convince uh, the end customer to to purchase those rooms. So, you know, and the, and the hotels insist on those rates and unfortunately then later on, much later on, suddenly they come back and say, well, you know, we dropped the rates and, and then they expect that we, we find customers. But very often it's just too late because if there is another hotel who has a much better rate, well, you know, the customer is not waiting. He purchases just um, the other rooms on another hotel. So what I'm saying is, and especially the, the um, revenue managers, that because they get, what I see is they get a lot of inquiries months and months before an event, they think, whoa, that will be the jackpot, there is a lot of inquiries, so you know, they put the rates very high. But then, you know, nobody books it. So, and then later on they come back and like one month before the event it's like oh we have no bookings you know uh, can you um, we are dropping the rates and uh, but then it's 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 too late and especially this euro now 
um, I'm coming back because it's a very good example, this year I can tell you, no, even now we are in March, it will be very difficult to, for a hotel to still sell, uh, sell the rooms. Um, obviously there is a window now with the, with, um, with the playoffs, so in the beginning of April there's an opportunity, but if your rates are, are too high, there is no opportunity. So it's better now, you know, you take a look. And what is also very clear, a hotel that insists of selling two nights, three nights minimum, I mean the chances that you get the booking is very small. You may get some individual bookings, but definitely not group bookings. So. My recommendation is uh, for the hotels, is for this upcoming Euros and basically for all sporting events, especially in Europe, I would say first of all, you know, don't think you will make the jackpot, number one. So review your rates, that's, that's very important. And second is try to avoid minimum two nights. It will be one nighters. Definitely, you know, this is, is the starting point. I mean, you know, it's maybe not your policy, it's not the way, you're not your strategy. I understand that. I, I mean, you know, that, that, that's the way you want to make business. But then, please don't come back later on, a few weeks before the event, crying that and trying to get business. I had a very good example in one of my previous posts where I gave the example for the semi-finals during 2016, the Euro in France, where a hotel, five-star hotel in Marseille insisted on four and five minimum nights. I mean, you know, and they came then three weeks before the tournament, they came back to me and said, okay, now um, we agree on two nights. Sorry, too late. That's it for today. See you next time.